Well, welcome to Board Namona Connor Park in Tullamore, our second of our Bank of Ireland Celtic Challenge Pundit Arena games is Galway McDonough versus East Cork. And Galway McDonough, well, Mike Egan is a player of note in the goal from Kappa Tagle. Ocean Salmon is Claren Bridge. There's a few fine hurling clubs involved here. Mark Regan, the number 12, is a Sarsfields man, while Connor Hines from Lee Mellows is also one to watch. Jack Walsh is from Kilconnor. He's also a top-class player, as is Graham Glynn from Ahasgar Farina, and uh, we look forward to seeing him in action this afternoon as well. They have listed 24 on their panel. Ian Linsky is the number 24 from the Ardrahan Club. Now, East Cork, well, you'll see a lot of familiar names in here, as in Killa, St. Itis, Sarsfields, Middleton, Father O'Neill's, Brian Rovers, Father O'Neill's, of course, junior All-Ireland champions a number of years back. Uh, Kieran Joyce is from Kilta Oak and Dermot Carney from Cove. Also from Middleton there, Keen Crowley, a stronghold in Cork hurling and in East Cork in particular. Mo Geely, the area down there that they all play in. Jason Hayes is from Cove, David Murphy, Sarsfields at number 22. And from Carrick Tool, James Mulcahy, Noel Cal of St. Coleman's. And another man to watch out for is number 70, John Mellerick from Father O'Neill's. East Cork are managed by Paddy O'Brien. His selectors are Brendan Healy. Daniel Cronin and Alan Geary. Brendan Healy, incidentally, is a joint banished door of the East Cork team. While Colman McDonough are looked after by Damien Curley, Damien Curley, Willie Burke, Jerry Spellman, and Gordon Crowley as the band march the teams right down in front of the stand. From Killa. He's got to be related to Mark. Mark Landers of Cork fame. And some killer as well. This is Joe Dean. That looked a little bit high, but Cork come forward. It was Keen Crowley from Middleton. Nice ball in field. Breaks down towards Sean Walsh. Carrick Toolman sends it in, and that's the first score for the second final and for Cork. Here we go. Lovely move by Cork. There's the hand pass coming. There it is. Pixie spot. Oh, what a stop. What a stop. Full credit to Mike Egan. Kappa Tagle. It's his local club, his club. And there was a shot from behind the goal. This is what the goalkeeper was facing. And he did very, very well. Boss of the stick and his left leg. But it is the second game in the Bank of Ireland. Celtic challenge. Here come Galway McDonough now. Outside the 20 metre line. No mistake this time. That's in by Marco Regan, the Sarsfields club player. It's East Cork and Galway McDonough if you just joined us. And West Cork were the first champions this afternoon. Defeating South Tipperary as Cork send in this one. And that has crept in for a white flag. Three points to one. Nice move, nice score. And Cork playing with that strong breeze. And Cork finding their men. And the layoff is good. Back comes Gary Carroll from Middleton. He's their number 10. And he got a 2.15 which is Sean Walsh of Carrick Tewell, and that's it's a 10 who actually finished it. Toughest was a 2 8 to 3-12 defeat to North Tip and Nina in the final group game. And it has been a fantastic tournament as Cork send that ball in across. Oh, that's an excellent score from the Cork number 15. Sean Walsh, it's his third of the afternoon from a difficult angle. He absolutely nails it, and on the 11th minute, it's five points to one. 18 or 3 12 is nothing to sniff at, but here they come. They've settled now, and there is another one. And all of a sudden, there's only two points between them. Nice move, Galway McDonough. Big ball downfield again from Cork. All oh, well gathered. Oh, lovely layoff. Chance here now. Space opens up in front. This is a goal chance for Cork. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. It hit the crossbar. Lou Holland. It was a uh, Jason Hayes, in actual fact. Jason Hayes with the shot, they came back off the crossbar, back out it came, the umpire drops the flag, but he is about to put it up, <laughs> just in case the Cork player got a fright. Here's the initial move. Brilliant, brilliant play, the layoff was brilliant, out to his number 23, Jason Hayes, and the man from Cove struck the crossbar, what a goal it would have been. But they did get a little bit of luck in the end when the ball broke out from our camera behind the goal, this is what faced them, he picked his spot, bang. But how about that? If you try to do that nine times out of ten, it won't happen. That's why we invented crossbar challenge. Well, he's won it so far, he will be disappointed. So we're into the 14th minute. We're just about halfway through the first half. There's the lift. And there's the strike. And that is a super strike. It's dangerous ball. Oh, it's in the back of the net. Galway McDonough 
We're never out of this game, but now they're certainly back in it. The high dropping ball, we've seen it in the first of our Celtic Challenge finals today. It can cause problems. Just watch this again. There it goes, dropping in, dangerous and hard to see. Broken down and just rifled to the back of the net. What a finish it was, and what a great score. All the way, McDonough. We are level with just 15 minutes on the clock. The man to get it and knock it to the back of the net was Connor Hines. Galway McDonough have blocked this one down. They have a chance to take the lead now. Bursting forward is their number 10, Niall Fleming. Fleming still going, a goal chance now. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! He's got two in a matter of seconds. Connor Hines, but all the great work was done by Niall Fleming. Just watch him go. Fed it to Connor Hines. And 13 might be unlucky for some, but not for Connor Hines. Beautiful play, Galway. First touch impeccable. Sean McDonough from Mount Bellew. He was put under pressure, but he's turned and he's got it. It's crept in and over the bar. Two goals and four points, a total of ten points to Galway McDonough. Six points to East Cork, who did get off to a flyer, but a good interception by Richie Landers. Richie plays it across towards Cahill McCarthy from the Sarsfields club. That's a big ball in for Cork, and that's a great score. 19 minutes on the clock, they're onto their seven points, so three between them. Ball breaks in the middle of the park. Cork man anticipated. Hand pass was good, but a good interception by Galway. But Cork break into the Galway half now. This is Leon Ducey from Castle Lines. Oh, no mistake from Leon. Good score. Good individual score by the number seven. It is Galway McDonough leading by two points. But is it to be only one point now? As that takes a nice curl in. And Cork have pulled one back. It's going to go to the wire this one as well. But here's Cork with the free. And that's gone straight between the sticks and we're down to a one-point game. Tullamore, 27 is the latest temperature we got. And here's 28 up in County Leitrim, just up the road. About an hour and a half away. Here come Galway. Some nice play. Marco Regan. Oh, a lovely through ball. Chance now. That was Hyder's an advantage. Oh, he had two things on his mind. One was a goal, one was a point. But it's Sean McDonough from Montpellier who's got the score. It was vital, and I got to credit the referee, Philip Kelly. He allowed the advantage. They've taken the advantage. They've taken it well. And it's a beautiful score. Back to Aina Motherway from the St. Coleman's Club. Oh, he's done very well. It's a brilliant name on horse racing circles down in that part of County Cork as well. But Aina Motherway has got the score. 23 points to 22. This is East Cork. This is Sean Walsh. Four scores already. Can we make it five? Oh, yes, we can. we got 30 minutes of good quality hurling to come in the second half. We're now into the second minute of additional time. Galway's number 14, Sean McDonough of Mount Bellew, already in the score sheet, sent that forward, and they've got it. They've got it. He found the man in place in a good position. And have a few quality scores have come in from that side, and this time it has come from Niall Fleming, his second score of the first half here. Two frees, three from play so far. The Carrick Tuchel man, he's got oodles confidence wearing that glove. Stop the perspiration on the left hand, similar to a golfer. And no mistake, three frees, three from play. And referee calls for the Galway McDonough goalkeeper to put out the ball, Mike Egan of Capitagal, this could be the half-time whistle, he looks at the watch, still a bit of time to go, breaking ball favours Alec Kinnear, Sarsfield's man, oh beautiful run from him all the way to the D, good work from the Cork number 10 who chased him all the way back was Gary Carroll, Galway's 10 has it now, and Isle Fleming, fed back a brilliant ball and I said the half picked off some beautiful scores in this first half, Brilliant play, the call came from the number 14, Sean McDonough, and the Montpellier man has registered his second point. Looking to extend their lead, they have a one point advantage at the moment, and here they come, and there's a shot from the 45, and that's a brilliant, brilliant score. The work ethic is fantastic from both teams, but the man running through that time for Galway McDonough was Sean McDonough, and that's his third point of the game. Midway between the 20 metre and the 45, well he's a little bit closer to the 45, he strikes it well, Sean McDonough. Oh, that's a great score. Four points for the Mount Bellew man. And if anybody can score this, this man can. 
we can struck that very, very well. Very, very well. And that's what I said. It's an excellent score. Galway bounce back. And that looks straight down the middle as well. Another brilliant score. Always difficult after having an injury. But can he put it over? Outside the 45 metre line. The breeze favouring Galway McDonough. Sean McDonough. Five so far. You can make that six. Anticipated what Galway were going to do with the ball. And meanwhile, their centre forward, Shane Lyons, played it back out to the corner forward, who Julie obliged and stuck it between the bar, or between the sticks, I should say. Two thirteen to fourteen. Is it about two forty? Oh, what a score! Great coverage from Pundit Arena right throughout the afternoon. Cork come forward, winding up for the big one. Jason Hayes from Cove sending it in, and the man from Cove has got his second point of the game from the Father O'Neill's club. Two players injured, there's been a collision. The referee allowed play continue, now he calls in assistance. And it's gone in, and it's another one for Galway McDonough. We're back to a three point game. 2 15 to 15. Half of the uh, Nines man. Cork have got a free. But Cork are back in the game. And Colin McDonough looking to put the icing on the cake here. And with lots of time, with lots of space. And they have been accurate. And that's another excellent score. There's it out to his corner back. Galloway win it back. Guy for a goal. Straight in. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on Pundit Arena and GAA now. 218 to 16. 53rd minute. Galway and McDonough again. That's the difference between the sides. Galway and McDonough have got the finish, and certainly this man has got the finish. That's Sean McDonough. Damien Curley. Galway and McDonough banished door. Here come Cork. Nice play by Jason Hayes from Cove. Sends it across the face of the goal. That's a good score by Hayes. So the free for Sean McDonough. He's got a brilliant setup. He's outside the 20 metre line. Oh, he put plenty of height into that. No mistake this time either. Cross inside the 20 metre line. Off first touch impeccable again. Held, breaks away from the challenge, sending it in, and over the bar, brilliant play. Matthew Rosengrave from the Michael Cusack's club is on the score sheet, the number seven, 221. Cork bench, a little bit unhappy at the moment. Can they finish with a bit of a consolation score? Again, the defending from Galway, absolutely terrific. Umpire says that's a wide ball. So one minute remaining, 2.21 to 17, it's a massive scoreline. 2.21 is a total of 27 points to 17, it's a 10 point advantage for Galway and McDonough. Here comes Galway and McDonough, it's Alex Kinnear. First to his way downfield, up to the 13 metre line. Difficult angle, brilliant player. Brilliant score, 222 to 17. That's 28 points in total, and we've less than 30 seconds remaining. Big, big ball. Downfield it comes. Again, first touch. Excellent, Jack Barrett, Padraig Pierce's club in Galway. with the clearance, can Cork get a consolation score? Jason Hayes, three points so far. So number 23 still in possession, we're in out of time. And the referee has given a free into Cork. And I'm sure they'll just go and take their... Well, with McDonough, some outstanding performances out there today. Cork send it in, and over the bar. Has to get him onto double figures for the afternoon. 
Sending it in as he's 10 score, and that should be game set and match now for Galway McDonough. We're not too far from the final whistle. Uh, Galway McDonough, lovely win of a ball. Here they go, looking for the final score of the game. Still going forward, they cannot stop them. In and over the bar, it's another one. 2.23 now for Galway McDonough. He's on the halfway line, and he has given that welly. Not brilliant, a brilliant individual performance by young Sean McDonough. And there is the full-time whistle at long last. Galway and McDonough have won this one on a scoreline of 2.24 to 19 points. And what a win it is for them. That is a big, big win for Galway and McDonough, so well done to them. I'm joined here by Sean McDonough of the Mount Bellew Club. Sean, after winning the All-Ireland A. Er, oh jeez, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, some feeling. <laughs> so, uh, and you scored about 10 points yourself? Er, around that, I won't complain. <laughs> Would you have been used to scoring such high numbers? Er, er well, not in a big day. Anyway, so. And tell me about the competition itself. How many games have you played? Have you enjoyed it? Oh, gee. Best cracker ever, I thought. It was. Great bunch of boys you have, anyways, and it's great to win it.